Long time no see. Oh my God. Can we not copy each other exactly? I know. Well, remember the last time when we were hanging out here in the city, we were doing those Snapchats together because everyone kept saying how we look like we were like twins. I remember that. I remember that. Good times. <laughs> Listen, we're going to do a 23 and me because I think that we're related somehow. <laughs> we're going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> so I might as well just call you twinsy, not Tanasha. <laughs> hey, twinsy. Hi, twinsy. How you doing? Good. I need to put more blonde back in my hair. So I, I mean, you. you know what? It's, I feel like whenever I see your hairstyles, I can pretty much know what I'm going to look like if I put my hair that way. And now, yeah. vice versa, right? So this is what you'd look like with the blonde. I like that tone. It's nice. Thank it's you. Nice. Thank you. So what's going on, girl? You know, just gearing up for summer, I guess. Like, it's exciting that we're finally kind of back in yep. the world, I suppose. Transition has been amazing because last year was also a big transition, you know, not being able to do shows, not being able to see my fans, not being able to perform. It was like a really big lifestyle shift. So yeah, but you were keeping busy during quarantine, right? What was going on? I worked on recording new music. So I really just hunkered down. I have a studio in my house, luckily. So I went downstairs and I pretty much just hunkered down and recorded a whole new album. And for me, it made sense because I was about to go on tour like in April and May for my last album songs for you didn't get to do it and I was really really disappointed because I was like when I finally go back on the road the songs won't be fresh the energy won't be there so you know I guess I felt like the best case scenario was just to make a new body of work so that's what I did and you know what and I'm sure you pumped out some amazing stuff which we're totally going to get into because I'm so excited about the new song Pasadena you know the first time I actually heard it was on your TikTok. Was it really? Yes, because I follow you on TikTok, Obvi. And I was like, this is a bop. Like, this it's is a such good, a summer song. It's a good TikTok song, too, because I feel like it has that energy, that breezy energy that you can make, like, slideshows. You can make dances. You can just be vibing with your friends. Like, it's a good song for, for well, summer vibes. We need to come up with a TikTok challenge. This way we could get all the big TikTokers on it so that <laughs> this way it blows up even more. We should. Are you starting one? <laughs> Listen, if I have your permission, I will come up with something for you. I just don't want to disappoint. Yes, please. I'll do what you. <laughs> Perfect. Now, what was the inspiration behind the song? Um, well, I really wanted to make a song that felt exciting and happy and like summer and brought that fresh energy because it was just so sleepy and like stuck in the house that it made sense for me to put out a song that made me want to be energized and like meet up with my friends and like link and like do fun things and drive around with the windows down. So that was just really the intention behind the song. And also writing a song that referenced my family, referenced where I grew up, felt really safe and, and comforting and had all of those nodes in it as well. Notes. <laughs> <laughs> now you worked with buddy on this song i know you worked with him on a song last year that he did glitch right yeah what made you decide to want to get involved with him again on something actually it was just the creative process that made me want to continue working with him um we have a really great vibe in the studio and i think he's really really talented like every time he comes over we just kind of put on a beat and we freestyle, which is how I create my songs. We kind of go back and forth. He does a part, I do a part. And we've made like three or four songs that way that just ended up being really fire. And so I really loved that dynamic, that collaborative energy. And so it really made sense that I bring that to my project as well. The video for Pasadena, I'm gonna assume it was shot in Pasadena. <laughs> it wasn't, some of it what? was, some what? of it was. But yeah, I mean, the song is kind of about being like from there and like having that like energy of like what reminds you of home, but it's also about growth and it's also about like continuing the journey. And so we shot the video in Malibu. <laughs> wow, Tanache, you are just throwing all of these side like little thingies. What the heck? I really was like, I thought that it literally was like, you know, film there. I'm looking at it. I'm like, this is definitely California, but I'm it's like, obviously yeah. it's called Pasadena. Obviously. I mean, it's like, it's one of those like stupid questions, but I guess, <laughs> I, guess not. I guess not. Yeah, no, we shot it in Malibu. 
Well, let me ask you this. I did check out the video. I think that it's amazing. Is there a subliminal message at the end of the video? Yeah, I think what I'm kind of trying to reference is that maybe this whole video or Meg, maybe this whole world's existence is potentially not the actual reality. Like maybe this is a virtual reality. Maybe this is playing with concepts of like, which one is the reality? Is this video taking place in reality? Are we in reality looking at the video? I love it. Video in reality. I think it's just kind of playing with these concepts that I kind of use as themes throughout the whole project, which you will see. More. I absolutely love that. Cause it's almost like you're, it's like, it's like a mind F I'm going to say. Yeah, like <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I like to get people thinking. I like questions and I like when my art kind of makes people be like, Hmm, that's now, interesting. It- is this subliminal message getting tied into the new uh, album that you're going to be dropping? Yeah, absolutely. It's a continuous theme throughout a lot of my tracks and videos and visuals. You know, speaking of some of the tracks, I know that you were working on some music last year that I know didn't full on get released. I mean, it's released as videos, but it's not full on released in an album form. Are those Mm -hmm. songs like, you know, like the one with Iggy and things like that, are they going to be brought onto the album? They're not on this album. Um, I wonder if they'll be on Iggy's album, but no, like Rascal is kind of just like a single of itself. This collab I did with Iggy, if she wants to put it on hers, that would be awesome. Um, But yeah, I created just like, it's a whole new thing, fresh songs. No one's heard them before, which makes me even more excited. We are going to chat about this album right now. I know that the album's called 333. Uh, It's going to be your fifth studio album. I'm going to get into your mind right now since we're twinsies and I'm going to see if I'm right when I bring this out to you. I feel like there's a spiritual meaning behind the 333. Is that what it is? Because you know what the angel numbers? Absolutely. Yes. You did. I got it. Um, Yeah. I mean, I think 333 being an angel number, it's kind of one of these things. It's, it represents a, a symbol of optimism of a good omen, you know, hope that you're on the right track, that you're protected, that you're guided. I think all of those are really great affirmations that we can all take into 2021 and into the future. And so there's that real spiritual undertone to everything that I'm doing. And I think I kind of combine that with the question of like, what's reality? And kind of um, those, those are kind of intertwining in a really interesting way on this project. Yeah. Cause you know, I'm kind of into all that numerology stuff and like the angel numbers. And I know that it's like the awakening of the universe. And it's kind of like, you know, the angels answering your prayers. Like when you see three, 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 it's like, you know, you're on the right track. So I was like, I have a feeling this is what she's trying to do. And I'm like, if I'm right, man, I just want to win like myself a million dollars or something right now. You're right. And my name means God is with us in Shona, which is where my dad's from Zimbabwe. And so I feel like it kind of is, it all makes sense, you know? Like there's where we are protected. God is with us. Our angels are with us. Like we are on the right path. Just trust in everything working out the way that it should, you know? Now, I know that you're supposed to be dropping the album sometime this summer. Uh, I know the summer just started (laughs) and I know that the summer ends on Labor Day weekend, more or less. So- With that being said, since we are at the end of June, is it going to be between July 4th and Labor Day weekend by any chance? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It'll Perfect. be out this so summer. It's, it's, so is the album going to be kind of like a, a pretty big summer vibe? Because I know with this song, you know, Pasadena is very summery, very flowy, very fun. Will the rest of the album be one of those albums that you can like drop the top, roll down the windows in your car and just blast? Absolutely. A lot of the songs have that tempo and have that energy. I think I really wanted the music, like I said before, just to make you want to dance, make you want to get up and do things. And I, I kind of went against the, I didn't want to make music that felt like vibey and slow and sleepy and, and moody. And while there's absolutely a time and a place for that, I really felt it was important to kind of contribute this energy and, and dance ability and stuff to the universe. So a lot of them have, have real fun tempos. So how many tracks can we expect on the album? Well, I, the, tr- the truth is I don't know because there's, I'm planning on hopefully keeping some of the tracks 
for potentially like to release them later on throughout the year. Like maybe I'll drop like a, like a remix project or things like that. So I'm like iffy on how many I'm actually gonna be using, but it's definitely, it's over 15 songs. So it's like, a, it's, it's a solid, it's a solid body of work. It's about 50 minutes, I think. Wow. So you definitely were keeping busy in quarantine. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this isn't no just like little album. This is like an album. Like the fans will be well fed. <laughs> and that's exactly what they're looking for. <laughs> Give the people what they want, you know? So I know you have some big things coming up. Uh, you're going to be performing on Good Morning America in August. And then you're going to be doing the Made in America in early September. I'm so excited about that. Uh, which is super perfect because I'm pretty sure you're going to be obviously teasing what's going on with the album, if not already talking about the album, because it may be out by then. I don't know. You're not giving me answers. <laughs> but... Yeah. What can we expect in these performances? Because now that you guys, you know, that now that we're able to all pretty much come out of hibernation and get back to like reality and you're going to be able to hit the stage again, what can we expect from Tanache? Because let me tell you, your shows are to die for. So I need a little sneak peek. Thank you. Well, I think this new era of shows is going to be even better than anything I've ever done before. Because that's the energy I'm bringing, bringing now. Just like everything has to be top tier. So I'm mostly looking forward to just getting back in front of the fans and feeling their energy again. But yeah, like since I have so much new music, I'm definitely going to be premiering new things at shows. I'm definitely going to be playing the old favorites as well. But I think just embodying like a fresh energy, some attention to detail, like of course dancers, but as well, I want to have live instrumentation. I want the full band gonna be it's gonna be fun I can't wait I've it's really been be looking forward to that epic, epic. <laughs> that's epic. the word it's gonna be epic obviously this weekend is Father's Day and I have seen your dad in a lot of your TikToks so I know you guys are really close you have anything special planned for him we are gonna go to the Clippers game tomorrow night for you know they're in the playoffs and my dad loves basketball so we're going to that tomorrow night and then I don't know what we'll do on Sunday. I actually have to, reminding me, I really need to like solidify these plans. Um, but yeah, like maybe we'll get dinner or something, you know. You gotta do something special. Gotta do something. Maybe. Well, playoff NBA is special, that's fun. True, true. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe you guys could work on that TikTok challenge. You know, we might have to do that. And then I could do what you. No. <laughs> Sounds like a win-win. Sounds productive. <laughs> amazing so of course you know all of your fans that are listening just give it out I'm sure they already have it but let them know how they could find you definitely check me out on all of the social media apps TikTok YouTube Instagram Twitter I mean just search my name Tinashe and you'll find me